so I've watched YouTube for probably around eight to nine years and I've seen almost every single type of video um, I I've watched pretty much everything <laughs> and one of the videos that usually always stick out to me or usually get my interest and I really want to watch them are personal attributes that people have that nobody else does what I mean by this is you know something that's special to one person something that one person can explain and talk about and then a bunch of other people can relate to the reason why this is so important or special to me is because i also have one of these little special things that other people don't really have and the people that do have them don't talk about them because it's not really a big deal but it is to us and no this is nothing like sexuality or any of that because that's already been said and done this is going to be a medical disorder um it's not really a disorder but it is a problem and most people get it fixed and i have not done that yet so i still have it and i wanted to talk about it so what i'm going to be talking about today is actually underbites now you might be thinking why why are you making a video about underbites it's just something small here's the thing i have one of the worst underbites you can possibly ever have mine is almost an inch apart yes my top jaw and my bottom jaw are almost an inch apart and that's why I wanted to talk about it today because when I was scrolling through YouTube and I I searched underbites underbite blogs everything about underbites underbites all it was was people fixing them people getting them fixed underbite surgery underbite reconstruction so you can obviously tell that people do not want an underbite people don't want this problem this this medical disorder so I wanted to talk about it and shed some light on it So my name is Ian, I'm from Florida and I'm 18 years old and I've had an underbite ever since I was born. Now my underbite was never this bad, I was in two accidents and it actually pushed my under my mouth back so that's why it's actually worse and a little bit crooked as well. I want to start by saying people with underbites literally have no difference, most of the time you can't even notice it but other times when you notice it you can't stop looking at it. It's kind of one of those things where you've seen it, you're always going to see it and I've dealt with this for many, many years, especially through high school. Ever since middle school, ever since high school, I've always been mocked because my jaw is pushed and elongated because my lower jaw is an inch forward than it should be. So I've always been called everything throughout the books, crimson chin, everything. Most people will have stipulations or stereotypes, you know, always oh, a bad kisser, oh, stuff like this, which is not true. However, yeah, it just really sucks because everyone thinks that because my lower jaw is pushed forward that I have some type of disability, some type of incoherence, and that I really, really have just, I look weird. There's three types of different underbites. There's class one, two, and three, and I have a three, so pretty much that's the absolute worst. My lower jaw is just obnoxiously forward than my top jaw, but a lot of people will be like, it's not even that bad. You're right, it's not to me because I've dealt with it for 18 years and I've known to hide it. Let's talk about the issues and the different things that make having an underbite difficult. Now, like I said, I've had an underbite for 18 years, so of course I've gotten accustomed and used to doing things with it. But people who, people who are still insecure about it, people who make fun of other people because of something they can't control like an underbite, let me talk about some things that it makes it really, really difficult for us to do. One thing is going to be talking. People with lisps and tongue disorders, like where like they can't say their S's and stuff like that, is because their tongues are in the way. However, with an underbite, especially one like mine, the reason why I have to try and cover up saying S is because I have to enunciate it or emphasize it so much because my tongue does not touch my teeth because it's so far away. So yes, I do have a lisp, however, I have to really emphasize my S's so it doesn't sound like that. I've learned this over time because, you know, when you go to an interview or when you do speaking or speeches, you have to really sound proper. And if you talk like this or 66, it's not really that proper. So yes, the word 66, I hate saying so much. I just said like eight S's right there. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to shine on 
um, is this isn't just a cosmetic disorder, which a lot of doctors think. They say, oh, you want to get it fixed? Okay, it's going to bump up the price and insurance won't pay it because it's cosmetic. However, that is completely false. We get so accustomed to it that we make it look like it's normal. However, there are some difficulties such as pain. You have a specific joint in your jaw that starts with a T. I can't remember, I'm gonna put it on the screen. However, that jaw and that joint and that muscle line right there is constantly having pressure towards it. I think it's called like the TDJ, something like that, TJM, something like that. Um, but that's constantly putting pressure on it, constantly being um, stretched. And because of that, because my jaw is pulling that muscle and that ligament, well, I think I think it's a ligament because my jaw is constantly putting pressure on that joint or whatever it is it's constantly causing um, pain to the area right here constantly having a little burst of pain constant throbbing however you know I've had it for 18 years so of course I've gotten used to it the sad thing is, is I've gotten so used to it that that regular like people be like ow my jaw hurts me it's like I don't even feel it my body is so accustomed to it and it really sucks. Like I've been talking for maybe eight minutes making this video and my jaw is actually starting to really hurt. Because that is constantly putting pressure on my face and mouth, smiling for a long, long period of time sucks. Um, I've been on dates where I'm just head over heels smiling. By the time I get home, my mouth is just killing me. My face hurts, like pounding hurts. And it's not my fault. Of course, it's it's an underbite. I want to talk about something that's pretty funny and I've been mocked and joked around with this a long time, but I don't even care anymore. It's, it's pretty funny to me also, and that's going to be eating. Sandwiches and pizza are my worst nightmare because you have to bite straight down and I can't. Biting straight down for me is like the worst thing ever because it'll get stuck in the middle and I won't be able to pull it and then everything will fall off. Pizza, sandwiches, everything anything that has layers i bite down and everything just falls off and it is awful i hate it so much the way i eat or the way people eat with underbites is putting everything back to our molars and then chewing absolutely everything with our back teeth which is really bad because the canines are actually meant for chewing so every time i go to like my hygienist or orthodontist they're always like i cannot wait for you to get your teeth fixed because you'll finally be able to have you know like proper working mouth properly eating properly talking and that's what i wanted to come with my last point throughout the years of having an underbite throughout the years of going to school and seeing so many kids and yes i know it's immaturity i know it's improper but i've always been made fun of the way i look and the way my teeth look now the reason why my teeth are so different and kind of like curved and yellow is because my teeth are not aligned with each other so instead of them being like this where they healthily connect together and they help and pretty much synergistically do everything together my teeth are like this so they're constantly pulling on each other constantly ripping at each other and that makes it really difficult for me to whiten my teeth uh, all the medicine that i used to take because of it has yellowed my teeth um push my jaw back more so because all of this has make my jaw even longer and pointier because of that um, you know, there's a stipulation like, oh, he has a disorder or his face looks really weird, but no, it's, it's just an underbite and they can be fixed. You're probably thinking, why don't you just go get it fixed? Well, I've been to almost every orthodontist and they always say 21 years old is when you can get it fixed. That's when the jawbone stops fully growing because I am a male and that is when I can legally, well not legally, but that's when I can officially get it fixed. Also, it's gonna be like $15,000, but trust me, I'm gonna get it done. The process is to break my lower jaw back, break my upper jaw forward, and then brace my teeth for about two years so they, um, so all my teeth align. And that's gonna be really, really bad for me because my teeth haven't been aligned for 18 years. So I'm gonna have to relearn how to chew, probably how to talk, um, and just a few few more things it's really gonna suck but so much worth it so in the end in the conclusion the reason why i wanted to make this video is to just shed some light on on an underbite you know i haven't seen a single video on youtube explaining underbites explaining how we have to talk eat 
all this different thing. You know, I've been made fun of just constantly throughout the years because my jaw's pointy, because my jaw is long and big. However, it's not something that I can control. I can't fix it. I can't do anything about it. I was born this way and I just wanted to pretty much expose and get some education out there because people will immediately look at underbites and think of oh they're incoherent or they're not really that smart because there's a stereotype that if you have an underbite you, 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 you're very dumb which is a rude way of explaining it so with that being said my name's ian and i've been on a super creative mindset lately just really wanting to post videos really wanting to educate and to expand the way i think so i yeah this is this is my video on underbites i hope you i hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good day